Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a library where, well, Josh Abrams, a.k.a. Josh the Jackass, and his blushing bride, uh, fellow frauditor Banana Anna, whatever her uh, YouTube handle is. I mean, I really don't give a damn. But at any rate, we find them berating, belittling, and uh, totally harassing the... Uh, library workers uh because well they didn't greet them properly or something like that i mean some niddly piddly little pile of crap uh excuse that they have to have to uh get off on this so try to sit back try to relax and try not to smash your computer screen as you watch these two morons uh do what they do the best being total uh jackass narcissistic pigs anybody any takers none none no, want to help us none. ask us if we need anything Four. we're good do you normally like if someone stands <laughs> here for several minutes do you normally like greet them and say hi is there anything i can do for you today Okay, perfect. So just maybe this was missed opportunity. Just didn't notice we were here. So I don't know. You pointed it out, and then she goes for like, why would she? Why would she? Just, if we needed help. I just thought you were filming. Ah. Well, now you see that's the problem here. You didn't uh, ask them if they needed help, uh, so you were obviously in the wrong. But here's the frauditor catch 22 right here. If these workers had actually asked them for help, then they still would have been in the wrong because they dared ask if the uh, frauditors needed help. So you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. I mean, that's just a plain simple fact of that matter right there. You can't do anything right with them. But the way I see it, it's a simple concept of mind over matter with these frauditing idiots. I don't mind and, well, they don't matter. What's your name, young lady? So, I don't know. I mean, it's just a shame. What's your name, miss? They still haven't asked if we need help. We're trying to get help. Uh, well, what help do you need? Well, I'm sorry to say this, dude, but you should have asked that the moment this jackass stepped in the door because he's going to make your life a living hell from this point on. And I'm sorry to say that, but it's a disgusting little fact that he will attempt to do that. Hell, he once uh, tried to claim that uh, somebody else in another library was a, uh, uh, well, a child uh, toucher after uh, they were adjusting their belt. And that's all they did. Hell, even other frauditors got on to him about that. And I don't think he ever apologized for it either. Um, could I please have the name of this young lady that sits at this chair? Um, why? Uh, because I'm, I'm asking. Yeah. So yeah. what's her name? Her name is Ms. Dumont. Dumont. Okay. Do you normally ask that your staff greets folks when they come in? Ask if they need assistance? Um, I normally do greet folks, yeah. So what would what do you think, like, if, if you're sitting behind the desk and someone walks up and they're waiting for service, what do you think would be, like, a decent time frame for them to greet the person and ask if they need service? As soon as they can, when they see the person, if they can't help right away, usually it's to say, you know, can you please... Wait a minute, or we'll just be right I'll with be you. I'll be right with you. Of course. As soon as I can. Oh, pardon me, ma'am, but, uh, yeah, uh, if you want to get rid of this guy, perhaps you should, uh, order out some Taco Bell and, uh, well, get Grubhub to deliver it and, uh, just, uh, use the carrot and stick method and just, uh, lure him out like a little, uh, doggy, and, uh, he'll be content to just sit outside and, uh, devour that, uh, bag of Taco Bell, and then he'll just go ahead and sleep it off in the parking lot and be fine a little bit later on, because, you know, he he's starving at this point. He needs something to eat, because he's hungry. He hasn't eaten in days, as you can see from this picture right here. A little bit perturbed, because I checked my watch, and I was there for just over three minutes, three minutes, four seconds. Standing, waiting. She didn't want to help me. So I said, is anyone, anyone want to give us a hand? And then I asked for her name, and she got up and she ran away and hid in the back. So 
we were, uh, obviously I'm thinking that we refused service because we're standing here holding the camera. We certainly didn't treat her as shitty as she treated us. So that's why I wanted to know what her name was. Is it the problem that it's like from leadership falling, falling down? Because we were also standing right here when you walked past us. You noticed they weren't helping us, but you also didn't offer help either. And you're like literally the person that runs the show around here. So is it like a leadership and everybody's no, following the example of leadership? I was still talking. I was still talking. Oh, is it the example that they're just following leadership's example? Or what's, what's the issue? Oh, you stood there for three minutes waiting for service. Oh my goodness, well, that certainly doesn't beat my story of when I waited for 15 minutes at the Walmart deli waiting for the uh, person operating the uh, rotisserie to turn around and actually ask us if we needed help. And she still didn't say anything. Somebody else ended up coming up and, uh, well, helping everybody out in line but hey i didn't need to act like a complete jackass like the two of you do on a daily occasion what i did was i just uh went back to the uh employee lounge and went to the ad office and let the uh, assistant manager over them know what had happened and as soon as i mentioned it he walked out to that deli and next thing i know I hear about a uh, certain uh, deli worker who's not very happy at that point. But my point is, I didn't have to act like a total dill hole to the uh, assistant manager. All I did was tell him what happened, and well, he took care of it immediately. So maybe your sorry asses should learn how to deal with the general public instead of, well, alienating them. What's uh, Miss Dumont? What's your first name? Lori. Lori. All right. So I'm going to do a records request on Lori and on yourself. We're going to get names, dates of employment, salary, all that stuff, and we're going to see if maybe next time we show a little bit more respect. People come in here and feel, uh, film this historical building all the time. Oh, so what was your problem with our camera? I am going to lunch. It's time for my lunch. So you ignore it. So you, ignored, you, so you ignored me for three minutes, and when I asked your name, very politely, you ran and hid in the back. But that's because you were going to lunch. No, I went to use the restroom. Okay, so excuse me. I apologize. You've been standing there for three minutes, and I've ignored you. But now I'm going to go use the restroom. I'm surprised that happens on your watch. So I'm going to do some records requests then. Okay. Oh, he wants to do a FOIA request. He wants to complain. Oh, no. Is that supposed to be an intimidation tactic? Because, well, it's not really working too well, it appears. And it sure as hell wouldn't work very well on me, either. Uh, you get names and uh, salaries and everything like that. I mean, big freaking deal, dude. It's not going to change anything. Thank you for the pencil. That's a records request for the names, dates of employment, positions, and salary for all library staff. Okay. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> no, that is my records request. So what I need you, you from this, from today, you have 10 business days to provide me this information under open records request and FOIA law. And, and this is, and this is, what is your name? Sure. Good citizen. Yeah. Your name is Good Citizen? Okay. Yes, that's right. Okay. Your legal name is Good Citizen? doesn't matter what my legal name is. <laughs> you need to learn how to do your job, lady. That's I don't, not, that is not it. I don't need to give you my legal name. I don't have to ID to fill out a records okay. request. Okay. Anyway, so you're saying you want this record provided to this email address? Correct. Thank you. You have 10 business days. Thanks. What happens when I don't... Fulfill that request when? Oh, so, so, so <laughs> this, 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 is, when. this is the, this is the best part. So I'm covered too. Uh, well, now uh, this next guy, the library assistant, he's going to try to uh, reason with Josh, but we all know that uh, Abrams isn't exactly the most reasonable person out there because you know he spent some time in prison because. He decided to take the role of a police officer and uh, try to arrest somebody. And, well, 
it didn't work out too well for him. And then there was that time here recently where he really tried to uh, ruin somebody's life simply for them adjusting their belt. Uh, so this is the kind of guy you're dealing with. Hey, I'm not speaking to you, so you can shut your mouth. I'll talk to you when Daddy's ready to talk to you. Excuse me. Shh. Your best, best, best thing for you to do is to be quiet. <laughs> No, other people, the, or walk in the back. We were not speaking with you Tom? because there are things on the facts here. Tom, so this is the, how you allow your staff. Stop trying to chill things. my free speech, Tom. I'm talking to the boss. Well, if it were me at this point, I would be the one who would definitely have this sorry jackass trespass from the building. I mean, it's well within my rights as the uh, administrator of that uh, building to do so. I mean, respect is a two-way street. At this point, if you're going to treat me like shit, I'll have you tossed out of the building. Now been accepted. So you don't have to give it to me in 10 days. It's just once you do, you'll be in violation of the federal FOIA law. You'll be in violation of the Massachusetts open records request law. I'll contact the attorney general. They'll put sanctions on you. I'll also sue you civilly and I'll recoup that. I've done this before. So the best thing to do is get me those records in 10 business days. This is 100% bullying tactics right here. He thinks he's the bigger man right here, but you know what? He's a small potato who thinks he's uh, the biggest shit in town, but well, we all know the truth. And if you don't know how to do it, you can always ask for help. Town Hall is right there. I will definitely be asking. Hey. What are we going to do about... I don't appreciate you... Using my free speech. I know you don't appreciate use of free speech, especially with those who gave their lives for it. Free speech. First of all, well, see, he interrupted me. He wanted to be aggressive. Now, he's sitting there like a puppy, so I wanted to know what we're going to do you to want, deal with him. You want everybody to be polite, but you don't want... I don't work, work for, for the public. You get paid by the public. He gets paid by the public. Enough for nothing. When I came in here, I wasn't mean to anybody. I wasn't rude to anybody. I make it a point to not be rude to anyone until they're rude to me. So that way, when I am speaking this way, it's only because I'm defending myself against a public official's poor behavior. Gaslighting at its finest right here, ladies and gentlemen. Gaslighting at its finest. You see, you're the one who came in here causing the problems from the very start. Your abrasive attitude always, always causes the problems. And now you're blaming your victims for it. Bravo, bravo on being such a big, uh, shameless bully. Probably turn your ringer off, man. So what did, what did you have to say to me when you're all big and tough? with your chest puffed out. You seem not to want to hear it, so... Well, no, go ahead. I was speaking. You were being rude, so I didn't have time to hear no, it then. You the time. So now I'm done. You may speak. What's up? What'd you want to say to me? Missed opportunity. <laughs> right, another job. Another career was a missed opportunity. You're right. Unacceptable for him to speak to his staff that way. To speak in front of staff that way, to speak to members of the public that way. I don't care what the reasoning is. We came in, we were real nice. Let's just leave it at this. This conversation would have never happened if we came here and someone said, Hey, can I help you? We'd have been in and out, just like we were at the town hall. We went in, every single office said, Hey, can I help you? Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Have a great Christmas. Oh, good luck putting up the tree. I see it. You know, have fun with the lights. Not a problem over there. You know what? I've had enough of this bullshit. I can't stand to watch Josh treat anybody like uh, like they're nothing more than dogs. I mean, at least dumbass Elmo gives some amount of respect to who anybody he talks to, but not uh, Josh Abrams. No, uh, respect in any form is, well, beneath him. And that is why you are the most disgusting, vile pile of dog shit I have ever seen in the frauding community. And that's saying something considering Glenn Serio is a member of your group. Oh boy, that's bad right there. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?